Hey, what's up, y'all? You already know who it is. It's L'Oreal coming at you with the L'Oreal Way podcast. Today, I have a special guest, K Kilo, the one and only from Chicago. That's the word, gang. Period. You already know what it is, man. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Hey, man, I'm out here. Man, I done drove two and a half hours. Now, nah, it's like two hours. Now, I'm over exaggerating. It was like two hours. Oh, okay. But I have to come, you know, come check it out, man. Period, period. You know what I'm saying? It's a, you know, a little last minute stuff, but we still finna make it do what it do. We still finna rock out. Yeah, man. So, the first question I want to talk about is, you know, the toxic love song. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, that, that's for me, that's like your single. That's what you know. For, for sure. You know, nah, 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 nah. Well, I wish facts, we could facts, play facts. it. Y'all, know. Y'all gotta see her, man. She be on her shit. She be cool as hell with the shit. But, I be trying. So, what, like, how did you come up with the song? Like, what was. So I had had like a little hook for it, and then mm-hmm. I linked up with my bro, uh, Katie Young Cocky, and mm-hmm. then we just went crazy in the studio one night and came up with that. Mm-hmm. That's dope. But everybody toxic nowadays, man. I have to just put it out there. Everybody toxic. Nowadays. Everybody toxic. I was gonna ask you, like, what's your toxic trait? Like, what do you think your toxic trait is? Even though that is called toxic love, so actually, yeah, if you can give me like two. I'm like, what's your Toxic trait um, within a relationship, and what's your toxic trait? Just like you. Like all you right. Say. So toxic trait in the relationship, probably I love hard. So that's one of them. I probably I, I say two. That's one. That's the main one. I love hard, like real mm-hmm. hard. The second one would probably be like, I also get bored easily. So like, <laughs> I might I might flirt with you for a little minute and then just cut you cold turkey. But it don't eat. I just be like, eh. Do you be just infatuated with a person? Did just get bored? No, I just it be like it be like I'm not gonna set like I'm at a point right now I'm not settling. So like if you just not my type, I'm not gonna force it. Like as far as my type, as far as like got the same mindset goes, things I aspire to be type shit. Like that's true. I just get bored. Like all right, anybody could have hoes. They say it about Gemini's, though. What? That we got hoes? Like, no. Like, y'all get bored. He's like, y'all air sign. Like, y'all just be airy. Go with the flow. I'm here one day. I'm done with your ass the next life. Yeah, but the way when people say it like that, it's just, like, so fucked up. Like, it ain't really giving that. I just, I don't know. Like, you got to come. Like, you got to step. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like. So what was your longest relationship? My longest relationship? Probably, like. Like straight or like on and off, mm. like straight no breakups. I mean, no, nah, because no them breaks. breakups still like you know what I'm saying. That's still right. your person. So, all right, so like a like three, three and a half years, three and a half years. Like on some on and off shit, but like some straight, straight like two and a half years. Mm. Damn. Okay. Okay. That's Damn, some slight. That's that. slight though. That's slight. Oh, it's so people it's only that two people type shit. You saying that's slight? I only lasted three years type shit. That's what I'm saying. That's not a long time to me. It's long to me, shit. It <laughs> is, but like compared to people that you see that have yeah, been together goddamn years, shit 15. since high school, like, god damn. Yeah, that is a long ass time. I would hope to last with somebody that long. That's what I'm shit. saying. Really you just do. can't really do all that right now. People got... So, so do you feel like we as people give up on people too fast type shit? Yes. Like, yeah. as a nation? Like, yeah. Life, like, like, everybody's about self now. Like yeah, that? I w- I would feel like there's way more independent women type shit. Like you know, yeah. our grandparents, our our grandmothers had to low key stick around. They had to find them a nigga that go to the army type shit yeah. with that man. Like mm-hmm. no matter how ki- he, right, he, no matter how many kids he didn't have on you, whatever. Like you stick. That's how you get like mm-hmm. them 60, 70, 80 plus relationships, yeah. marriages. We not really having that. Like right. people taking their time to get married now. Like we we ain't really. I don't know. I would love to have that, but yeah, people give up too easily. Ain't nobody trying to watch you go have a whole nother baby on somebody and stick by it. I'm not doing. I'm that. not doing. I'm that. not doing. That. I'm not so doing that's, that. So that's I'm I'm part of ain't nobody. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm part of ain't nobody. Yeah, I'm not I doing ain't that doing either. That shit at all. At all. At like all. that's uh, what's her name? Um, I'm Rashida. I like Shadi Low. Rashida. Rashida. She's a sister soldier. You strong as hell. Yeah, like. she's a she. She. That's how they go. But and they also been together for like they damn near thirty plus twenty. So I don't know, but they been together for a minute, a long time. like since she was like seventeen or something. So yeah, she like our grandma. Mm-hmm. So and what I do I love about that relationship, about 
is they building businesses. They still helping each other build. Hey, man. You know what Fuck I'm saying? Fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> she, that's for sure. I get where she coming from. I get Fuck that, that. that aspect of it. But yeah, you go, you have a fucking baby on me and all that. Yeah, that's that's over with. That's too much. My Wait, mama's sister. You cheat so one shit. time. I don't... Mm. Really? Damn, it's, t- it's strict over there? One time? Gee, I'm okay. So you also gotta understand, like, I'm a female who date females. My shit a little different. Yeah. My shit a little different. Like, I can't even have, like, it's, I barely damn that can have female friends for real without a motherfucker tweaking. Mm. Not saying like that, like, that's fucked up, but a lot of girls be over exaggerating shit they be they be doing a lot of shit g like so if it's if it's if you gonna tweak on me on doing little shit like that like bro who you cheating a lot and i get a lot of females that's straight too like so i thought the lg be i don't know the damn lettuce but i thought that community is like more open within their relationships hell like they're no, not straight no on like ain't no hell no it's 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 it's, like my cousin, she say, huh, her bitch walk up in the club type shit, and she bitch shake that ass on this, my girl. This, like, this what like I'm that. saying. This what I'm saying. You gotta have that type of oh, that girl. girl. Okay, that, okay, you okay. see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mean, they watching that. I can get shit. that, but then it's always somebody might act crazy. One, one night we in the club, she might want to knock me upside my shit. Because mm-hmm. would you, you be okay with her? Like your your partner. Flirt, dancing yeah, on flirting girls. and dancing and all. Damn, yes. You're cool with that That's shit. cool. Okay, just don't take it too far now. Too far, okay. Don't take it too far now. <laughs> like, just, just be cool with it. All right, so what if a stripper like, hey, I want to have a threesome with you and your girl. Do motherfuckers be down for that? What's on my chart looking like? Oh, okay. Period. <laughs> it's real bougie over here. <laughs> <laughs> what that my chart looking like? How many bitches you done seen in the club doing that? <laughs> How many bitches you done did that with? Walked up to you work seven days a week, what baby. My chart looking like period. That's period. Motherfuckers, though. I remember, motherfuckers don't even be knowing what my chart is. Motherfuckers be... got that shit out here. Out here, especially <laughs> number one top. <laughs> That's what my motherfuckers be like. My motherfuckers be like, what you doing out there? Nothing, nigga. Nothing. High and dry. You know, take my ass. Mm-mm, no, out here I'm good. I'm good. Nah, but motherfuckers might do that. Shit, a, a heterosexual couple would do that. Yeah, yeah. strippers. Yeah, that's true. Or that's like true. any female, like go out to a club or go out to somebody. People do that. Yeah, that's true. Would you do I, that? Uh, no, I get people that ask me ugly couples though. Why are you at? Why do you think I want to be in the bedroom with y'all? Yeah. So, my next question, we just see see coasting and shit. <laughs> so, me and Kilo actually did a song, y'all, and we did, um, a couple songs. We, did we did. But my favorite one is Save Me, though. I ain't gonna lie. Man, making save me with her, and she record herself. Yeah, let them know about that. Like she raw as hell. She the reason I didn't came down here starting to learn how to record myself and shit. Because I told her like, damn, you record yourself. This shit just raw. Like she raw. Mm-hmm. So let them know about how all that started. Shit, my pops do music and shit. Like so, he really was the one that I sat up there and watched. Like anybody got a favorite artist, he was my favorite artist. So like, I wrote her pops my... funny as hell. <laughs> I wrote my first song at like eleven type shit, mm-hmm. and that shit took off. So at eleven. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I wrote my first song at ten, and then I did this contest called How She. It was a movie coming out called How She Move, and I won that shit. Long story short, the winning prize was to get sent to uh 106 and Park type shit. Damn, New York. you so ain't I did never that. say that. I don't think yeah, that. nah, so cut. Damn, nah, that shit was lit. Like I was, in, I ain't gonna say it was embarrassing as, as a kid because it's like, mean? what the fuck? Like, you still got the song though. Mm-hmm. It's, Probably still on YouTube. At that point, I was called KKG. I'm fat as hell, chubby. As hell. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This like first when, when green screen and shit like first like really started popping for real, for real. Man, that shit was fun as hell. But yeah, long story short, KKG. Yeah, what? it was K dash K A Y G. So how was that like whole experience? Like you was in, on set production. And- that shit was fun as fuck. Like as a kid though, like. As a kid and being like booked, like I, after that, like I started getting booked for like shows out of state and shit, like. So much to the point where, like, Damn. and, like, in Chicago, it was busting. Like, I'm getting booked all summer, school events, like, all type of shit. Like, I opened up for Soldier Boy one time, like, Damn, at the Regal Theater. Did a lot. Yeah, that shit crazy. Uh, but that it was it was doing so, I was doing so much that my mama, like, was like, hold on now, nah, shorty ass missing too much school. That shit over with. You couldn't get homeschooled? She wasn't going for that shit. Did you ask them? At 10, I can't say shit. Oh, I damn. do as I say, not because yeah, I said right, so. I, like, I'll at some shit, though. Like, I, what, boy, that look shit, at bro. this. Look how my life me is and going. My mom, like, me and my daddy was on that shit, but she just wasn't going. So damn. that kind of slowed shit down. And then I just really picked back up like when I went to college. 
in New Orleans. I just you went to college in New Orleans. Yeah, I, went, I graduated from Dillard University. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, it was busting. I stayed dope, down, and the only reason I went back to Chicago because of COVID. Like, I would have still oh, been living man. down there. Damn, so you came back during quarantine type shit. Hell yeah, like graduate, like all that shit. They sent. We had stopped going to school and shit. They oh, just man. passed us and like. I passed and like school was over with it like <laughs> the first week of March. Gee, I'm talking about I got science. I'm damn the boy. I got a D in that bitch. I'm trying to bring uh, that bitch up. It's finals. G. I'm, <laughs> hey man, you not, you my teacher not coming in. I'm what the fuck is you doing? He talking about email me, man. Look, I got graduation. Uh, Shit, I, I know you up. like thank God for COVID. Oh my mama, he gave me a schmoo. I was gonna pass for real, but mm. at the end of the day, it's, that's a. Fucked up time. Do you got finals? Your teachers and shit just stop coming to work. Coming to work. They, yeah, yeah. They, like, they knew that just they had to pass you. Like you can't feel nobody. And then all the other schools surrounding me was closing except for mine. Like I think my little cousin was at my, my both my little cousins was at my crib for their spring break or some shit. And they was they was done with school type shit. Like they canceled their school while they was there. Damn my shit. Still, still open. saying I gotta go to school on Monday. Oh shit. They canceled Damn. my shit. I came home. Damn. So. Within the coronavirus, blah, 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 quarantine type shit, did you, like, when you came back home, did you start creating more? Like, man, I came home and my dumb ass got in a relationship. I ain't going to no, lie. I'm talking about the <laughs> moment that I fucking, I, dr- I had to drive home. I had my yeah. shit. The moment, I'm talking about I drove home. I remember this shit only because my best friend's birthday is on April 13th. So mm-hmm. I drove home early to surprise her to be there for her birthday type mm-hmm. shit. So I got there, spent that night with her, got drunk as fuck. By the morning of <laughs> April 14th, I was, or that night, I was with the girl I was talking to type shit. And I went to her crib that night and I never left. And just quarantined there. Quarantined the fuck at her crib. Is that the, is that a part of like the long Yes. Break? Yeah. Yes, I mean, look how you look at me. <laughs> yes, like, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like hella people got into quarantine relationships. They did. Like, it was and, quarantine and babies and shit. It's a lot of shit. It wasn't shit to do but get high and lay up. I ain't do shit. I went to quarantine with nobody. But I did lock in in the studio a lot. I ain't gonna lie. I did lock in in the studio. Yeah. Like we was in the studio a lot. Yeah, a I lot. did that too. Like yeah. a lot. I'm talking about leaving, going in that bitch at like six, seven p.m. Leaving at seven, eight in the morning the next day type shit. Mm. That's dope. That was fun as fuck though. I ain't it was because was... I stayed in the studio during quarantine. It wasn't shit else to do. It wasn't Especially shit. if you make music and you ain't got that shit at the crib. I, I ain't had a shit at the crib. So I'm I was shit. watching Boosie like a motherfucker online. Put that, that shit, pussy online. Him and Tory Lanez had it busting. They did. They definitely did. That was a, what a time to be alive. Oh fuck. Yeah. Did you? Uh, was did funny. you loop? No. With George Floyd. No, I'm talking I about loop for George Floyd. <laughs> no, I stayed out west though, so I know all the people that did loop. Yeah. And they you asked, looking at one? <laughs> <laughs> they asked was holding Ace of Spade bottles over their head. Like, look what I got. Sure. Packs of hands, shit, all that. I'm just like, hey, we had a dispensary. You did? Yeah. Damn, yeah, you should have called me, G. You just said you want no shit. <laughs> G, my mom Because mama I'm not going to go with these grown ass niggas to loot. What the hell? I was with a bunch of females. <laughs> I, was, I know what I'm talking about niggas. We met up with some niggas, though, just to like, you feel me? But I was in a car with a bunch of females. Oh, my mama, we was getting. G, they have. They, have, they was looting downtown, G. We she looking incriminating at, herself. We look, she, boy, if I'm incrim, incriminating myself, everybody incriminating. Everybody that incriminating shit. Oh, my real. mama. We walked smooth past the police officer. <laughs> he he was so irritated. He was just like, just, just get your gone. shit and go. I don't give a fuck. I they know couldn't do shit. Yeah, they couldn't do shit. They, that shit was fun as They knew fuck. what it was when they signed up. They that shit was so fun. On. Man, quarantine was fun as hell. The money... What I'm, the, I man, miss me Wompley. I want to be a Wompley. I miss Wompley. I was getting good on the Womp. Mm-hmm. I ain't even finna. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't putting them through. You feel man. me? But man, okay, let's get back to this. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a. I'm gonna tell my kids that was the Great Depression. <laughs> <laughs> it was though. It was for us. But this the modern day Great Depression shit. Yeah, motherfuckers yeah, don't no. take shit serious. Shit at all. So. Yeah, we already know she record herself. You know, she got toxic love. Also, let's talk about that that juke. That juke. You want you a bad bitch? You want you a freak with Carla G. Let's talk about that one. That that video is so fucking turned up. That shit raw as hell. That was a fun-ass video to shoot. I ain't gonna lie. It looked like it was. It was fun, but it was also stressful, too, because I was having a little too much fun. Everybody was just having... First of all, we there to shoot a video, but we partying around it. 
Ain't that what make the footage and yeah, shit? Yeah, but the we shaking was, the ass just, turn? It was a lot of drunk shit going yeah. on. It was fun, though. I ain't going to say Wait, that. Wait, motherfuckers getting into it. No, nah, it wasn't no getting into it. Nah, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, I'm it. lying. Yes, yeah. it was. People just getting drunk. But, you know, that's how, that's what come with it. It was fun as fuck, though. But mm. that was a just another cook-up. I got drunk as hell. My um Uncle XL sent me uh, this beat, and I just couldn't hold myself. I recorded that shit drunk as hell. <laughs> Literally, that's why I start off like my best song is gonna be my tweak songs. I literally just said some drunk shit and just kept going. <laughs> so that's how you like recording, like um yeah. What's, what's your number one like not like my routine one, but, type shit? No, nah, like I am gonna ask that, but what's like yo your vice like drinking or smoking? Which one? Oh, I'm a smoker. I don't smoker. really like drinking like that. So how do you like to make music when you just high? Cause I know me like. I can't just be high. I got to have a mixture of both I of them. I mean, moments. I can have a mixture of both of them, but I also don't like to just rely on the fact of, like, a substance to make music make type music. shit. I want to be able to say, like, gee, I created this shit. Sober mind type shit. Like, uh, ten, I ain't finna be in no studio all motherfucking I ain't night. Gonna see, I ain't mm. going to say, like, I'm not going to drink it, but I can't. Like, if there's no liquor, I ain't going to be too pressed on it. But if it's, like, by myself, because I have the luxury of, Recording myself type shit. Oh, At, you oh, feel me? Right. I ain't just finna you just gotta be do turning the fuck every up day. every night. Like, yeah, God yeah, damn, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. be. <laughs> okay, that's true. But if I'm, you see what I'm saying? Don't like right now, uh, mm-hmm. if I'm linking up with people, people sliding through. Of course, we gonna get lit. Yeah. Like that's just gonna yeah. add a little more sauce to it. But yeah, off top, you. like, nah. I cause I like... wake up seven in the morning to go down to the studio. Oh. God damn, I ain't finna bust no bottle. <laughs> yeah, you got. She got that privilege type shit. I'm, I'm in my head thinking like you book your studio session. You know what I'm saying? You got your little kit, what you need. Oh yeah, if I'm booking you. some shit, linking up for yeah, sure. I'm for coming sure. with the whole kit. What's your, what's your kit? What's your drink? My Don Julio. I could do that. Um, Blanco or Reposado? Reposado. It's a Reposado. Uh, black owned liquor um, in Chicago called Disbelief. I fuck with that heavy. Disbelief. Owned by a black I man. That shit. Up. Yeah, I've busting. never heard of that. It's tequila. Yeah. They got Blanco, Reposado, um, Anejo. They got everything. It's like the the bottle is like a baseball. It's raw as hell. Damn. You know these people or something? Mm-hmm. Give him a shout out then. Shout out to this Believe Tequila. I'm fun of you already know how you coming. I'm fun of <laughs> If we this had y'all bottle, we are going to head you man. know what I mean? But next time, I'm, I'm we going to bring it. On bro. Because they in Atlanta too. They in? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. They, they got some shit. <laughs> I don't know, cause I still ain't even found that double XL wine. G, that shit an hour away from me. What's double XL? Oh, you ain't been saying that shit. Everybody been sharing that shit. They say like the the, the magazine. No, nah, it's a new wine <laughs> called Double XL. Oh, I'm finna say, damn, that's not It's it. a new wine called Double XL. That shit's supposed to be like Taylor Port or something. Like, you, they, motherfuckers talking about, all you need is one little Man, cup. Man, that look, that Tay Tay, that's the problem. One oh, cup hey, I'm, I'm done. You fucked up, I'm G. done. This them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like this shit raw. Yeah. Okay. Okay, disbelief. I'm gonna have to try y'all. I'm a tequila girl for real. And smooth as hell. But no, nah, Tay Tay though. I blacked out off that shit, boy. Mix that with a uh, like some grape pop or something. I'm done it's with Tay Tay. Decent. After oh. one night of that Tay Tay, I'm boy. I'm done. Ain't no way. Tay Tay do get a lip. for six dollars though. He Why? This Taylor Port not bill. Phone out. This Taylor Port not bill. For real though, Tay Tay is Glorilla drink. She stay with some motherfucking Tay Tay. For real. Hell yeah, she stayed. You, you seen that picture with the bottle of Taylor Port on I did, head? but I didn't know she stayed with it. Huh, G Herbo was on live one day drinking Tay Tay. G Herbo like, yeah, what you drinking that for? She's about just try it. He like, no, gang. At my video shoot, at Bad Host video shoot, a girl, that's, that was the problem. She started spazzing out because somebody drunk, drunk her Taylor Port bottle. I'm funny. And it was like hella people, like even my uncles, my pops, like hella people around was like, G. Taylor Port bottle? Like, you doing all this on the table? Oh, bro, she, they was like, gee, we'll buy you a bottle of Bel Air. Like, I got some Bel Air. She was like, no. Like, she calls a whole fucking scene. Oh, you two Taylor Port bottle. Bottle. Matter of fact, I'll like, buy you the Like, to the point where I had to stop jug. shooting them a video. Like, that's yeah. ridiculous. They sell big ass jugs for 12. I'll buy you a big ass jug for $12. She was mad about that big bottle. You know, a big ass gallon of Taylor Port, like $15 at that. Exactly. $12, $15. That's that ain't shit. Saying. She was irritated. What? <laughs> Over the Why they drinking my shit? It's the you principle. Just it's the principle. Cause I, I know how people you was saying. When, you was done. You had to be done. No, I know how people definitely be saying. I don't care about motherfucker buying shit. It's the principle. Why yeah. would you drink my shit? I get it. It's not but, yours. Yeah, but <laughs> I get it. But that's like that's kind of how I used to be like standing on principle. But at some point, when you get older, bro, you just be like, man, fuck that shit. If they saying they finna bad, man, all right, bad my shit. Go go to the store and bad. We cool. Like what the fuck? That shit funny as hell. 
But so, okay, okay. So, um, so what about like performances and stuff? I know you did like I a lot of performances when I left and shit. I yeah, don't really yeah, be yeah. seeing you a lot. I'm but. just now um really getting back like the summertime type shit. I'm popping back out. I just did two shows. I had three shows in the last two weeks, but I missed one of them on four twenty because I had surgery. And shit. Oh yeah, let's talk about my, my girl got a BBL. <laughs> Shorty. Shorty got a BBL. I, I, I recorded my surgery process without telling people and put it on my Instagram close friends. G. Why I have all my homies and people talking about, G, you getting a BBL merch. BBL. I, I had surgery on my arm. <laughs> That's fucked up. Show them people the BBL. Y'all, she lying. She trying to beat them BBL like bitch. Hey, man. If you need to do a BBL, though, I know where you could go. I know a lot of, you know, a lot of people getting them. Yeah, so she did. She fucked up her arm and shit. She funny as hell. On, this my this one of my close friends and and um Instagram on Instagram and shit. So I don't got shit on her though. I ain't got shit on what? her though. Gee, I don't got shit on what she. Be you finna lie to the people? Shorty, if um, hey man, y'all she might tap in on this shit. Hopefully, people. she allows some of y'all to get in her close friends. I promise to God, she be seeing some of the wildest shit on my mama. No, I don't. I put that shit to my main st- fucking story. No. Close friends. The main story be busting too. Don't get me wrong. She is funny as fuck. Like, something wrong with her. I tell her all the time. <laughs> oh I, t- I tell her all the time. She's Why slow as hell. Why do hell. everybody say this? How many times I tell you, you sick as hell? Do if you I go do? to iMessages, G, it's going to say, you sick as hell. You sick as hell. You sick as hell. You sick as hell. <laughs> no, she be laughing at me all the time. But she crazy as fuck too. Like, it, I ain't even going to give her out Man, there like that. But boy, well, that's what I was, I'm like, he lo- Man, this motherfucker is a motherfucker. Like, this a Gemini for real. She, she just told somebody to get shit. the fuck on or shut the fuck up and like, yeah, I swear to God. She just told a motherfucker smooth. Somebody said something so nice to her. She just told they asked to shut the fuck up. For real. For <laughs> with the for real on the end. G. Because I don't play that shit like shut the fuck up. Like it was stuff. it was damn near good morning. <laughs> no, it was a, I love you. But you don't love me, bitch. You don't even know me, G, bitch. She told that motherfucker like, shut the fuck up. I was crying. Why would you say that to because somebody? Because why would you say to somebody you love them? You don't even fucking know them. Like, don't be playing with me. So, yeah, shut the fuck up. Crazy. Well, we ain't even finna get into What's your sign? What she, Virgo. And we ruled by, I forgot whatever the planet is, but like we good communicators. Like, you, you know don't what know I'm the saying? planet? Yeah. I don't know if it's, I don't want to just make it up glass and shit. shit. <laughs> it's Pluto. Mercury. <laughs> yeah, we don't fucking Venus. know. It's some, we ruled by a communication planet type shit. So, you know what I'm saying? We good communicators and I shit. I ain't so never heard of the communication here. planet, folks. You, you, you didn't. G, you got to learn I ain't astrology. really into astrology. Astro- Damn. I just feel like we should just leave them people up there alone. <laughs> leave that shit alone, folks. Like, leave that shit alone. <laughs> It's not about them. It's about us. Like, okay, so every time you do know, every time they shoot them rockets and shit, it fucks up our ozone layer or something. Like, motherfucker gonna be fucked up. Out what here, they shooting the fucking rockets for anyway? To go to space. <sighs> I don't even believe that shit. I, believe I thought you was Miss Mrs. Astrology. I am, and I, that's why I don't be saying shit. But I believe, <laughs> because I'm Miss Astrology and, and spirituality, so I believe, like, we in a fucking dome. If they pass that shit, it's water up there. Like, I don't even believe in that. I don't know. It's just a lot of different shit. Like, yeah. it's a lot of different shit. The yeah. Simpsons, you know. That's why that I just shit. leave it alone, because I don't know. Yeah, I I, I'm on the time. earth. I'm hitting this bitch until I'm not I leave. fucking with the sea. I'm not fucking with space. Anything with us, really. Land. Land. <laughs> um, land. The fuck is you talking about? I'm just in this bitch till I get off this motherfucking shit. Man, you know? Exactly. You know? So. This shit good. It is. Yeah. I don't even know what this is, but it's decent. It's, a, it's, a it's like a spiked, like, tropicana. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a spiked tropicana. It's like a spiked tropicana. Okay. On photo. Okay. So, what do you like want to um mm-hmm. like what do you like what's your goals and stuff like not without you know you can't tell the people too much of your blueprint and shit, but like For sure. what you got like mapped up and planned out to um, shit? I got some shit going right now. I'm finna drop a project um pretty soon, probably on my birthday in June six um it's June six three a m therapy mm, um, three a m therapy how did that name come about um Pretty much, it's an R and B album type shit. It's a lot of love, like relationship songs. Like it ain't like just straight R and B. Oh, I love you. I'm so sorry. I miss you. Come here, but it got shit to do with relationship shit. Um, and it's just a vibe, like something that you could ride down Lake Show or something to at like three a.m. I fuck with three a.m. Like, therapy. 
I fuck with that. Mm, bro. That's um, real. Other than that, do a buck fifty, run down Lake Shore. Y'all, you know, you know uh, save me on that, right? Yeah, you tell me. We gotta shoot. We shooting a video to that too. G. Oh, that damn! I had switched comp, but this was like us recording. Save me. I've never like experienced that shit. Like we literally passing the mic back and forth, like making this fucking song. I'm like, this shit raw as hell. Like I've never. Like, she I was kind of like, she was like, what? What we finna? Do? I'm like, look, just say some shit. Just go. Just, <laughs> just go. go. Like, and don't we- overthink it. Just come on, come on. It, like, it, it was, was raw, fuck. cause I overthink. Everybody, if you know me, you know I fucking overthink shit. But I feel that like that's shit was any raw. artist though. Like anybody that's trying to that's uh. That cares about their craft type shit. You yeah. want to make sure that it's perfect. But yeah, like, that's true. We just had fun though. Like we took that shit and, and just went, bro. Like it, it was so fucking raw because you know what I'm saying. If you was to write a whole verse yourself, you got to come up with your own shit without the band. So it's like when me passing the mic to her, she coming up with some shit. I'm coming off that. She coming off what I just said. That shit was just so fucking raw. We did like I cannot wait to the two, song drop. three songs like that. I ain't gonna lie. We got a yeah, couple. Yeah, because I came back the next day and I fell asleep. <laughs> hey, shorty a fall short. She 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 fell asleep the first time. Too. It no, was like, I didn't. bro, you did take a little power nap on my mama. You took a power nap. Now the the second day you you went to sleep for sure. Second day you went to sleep for sure. The second day I was sleep like a motherfucker. My mama called. Like, what the fuck is she you? She was sleep like a motherfucker. Dude. I was sleep like dude. a motherfucker. Though. She got me on camera and shit. It ain't safe around her. Bro, I'm over there like looking big as hell, like. We ain't as hell, bro. Sure. And but shit. that just goes to show you that like we was really putting in some shit. Like we was in that bitch for hours. For like, real. Hours, hours, hours. Her studio was a for, vibe. For, for us to come out with like four, five songs, like within the time, short time that we did have. Like it was worth it. It was worth it. It was a vibe. It didn't feel like the work shit. type shit. It just felt like shit. This shit we love to do and we just doing like that shit was just raw as hell to me. I ain't even gonna lie. When you got a studio and you ain't gotta pay that time. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy to relax though. Like true, because you motherfuckers like, going to the studio and like, just yeah, you yeah, like yeah, most you most artists then that go to a <laughs> studio with shit they already got wrote or. And um, I don't like doing that. I don't write music for real. I love just flowing and just then formatting yeah. that shit. Like <clears throat> yeah, I don't do that. Cause I don't. Cause I get to the studio, listen to the beat, and come up with something totally different. Like exactly. I don't like all that. <clears throat> so that's the perks of learning how to record yourself. That's why I always want to do that shit. Really. Yeah, that shit roll. That shit. I feel like any artist should learn how to record themselves. It's gonna make you a better artist because you start hearing shit that an engineer will hear. Like you know how you go somewhere else and an engineer be like, "Nah, I'll do this," or they'll add a drop or some shit. Like you already kind of hear what you mm-hmm. want to do already. Type shit. Exactly. That's true. That's true. She rides hell at recording for real. That that shit just raw. Some slight man. Some slight. It's really easy. Where you at with it? You recorded yourself already? No, I'm still in the process of learning. Yeah, I'm hard. Serge, we gonna do it though. Ain't we? All you gotta do That's is That's my sit teacher that. right there. He That's my mentor. He can't do nothing. Just sit there. He gotta tell you, show you. Man. That's what he told me. And That's just what sit there. And then he told me too, like, bring, bring my cousin up here, let him record. He was like, but he gonna be mad as hell because you gonna be yeah. stopping it. Da, da, da. He yeah. was like, but just explain to him, like, I'm just trying to learn how to record. Yeah. So. Shit, that's, that's just what we doing. But no, she did inspire me. When I seen her shit, I'm like, this is the shit I want. Shit, I want my daddy to be doing this shit. <laughs> the fuck? Now, I really started learning how to record because dude, he started acting like he ain't had no time for me. Oh, my to pop, record my you? My pops, yeah. He oh, be playing so much. Shit. Like, when I was in college and shit, I did get end up getting me my own little studio set up at school and stuff. But it ain't nothing like, you know, having a real studio. So, I come home. Wait, so the studio at school, it was just in my career. But you still like I was yeah, recording yourself. I still went to other studios and shit. I still recorded myself though. Oh, okay, okay. I just recorded myself at home. But when I went to the crib, like you perfected it. I perfected it right. type shit. Yeah. Like I really know. Like when I was at school, I was really just literally recording myself. I wasn't mixing. I would say like it's easy to press record and just drag oh, it up and drag, type okay. shit. Like, right. But when I went to when I went to the crib, I actually sat there and watched them for like two three days and mm. then just practiced on myself and then I learned it. Mm. It only took me like a week. So do you record other people like charge yeah. and like yeah studio sessions? So available. It's really like. I do. I would. You know, I really just do my homies, like, or people that I run into, and they want to come to my studio, and then they realize I record myself, so then they be like, oh, yeah, but because I'm an artist, I'm not trying to be an engineer type Mm. shit. Like, it's really hard engineering some weak shit, G. Mm. 
like, uh, like I ain't gonna lie, and I'm not sitting up here saying like I got the best music or something like that. No, like, what I, I'm I heard other producers just, say that it's hard to like focus and really like I love music so much, G. Like, so it's just hard to sit yeah. there and watch a motherfucker come in here with some weak shit. That's weak shit. my or cousin said that. That's, that's not, why he upped his prices and shit. Oh my fuck, because he and like and people this just like, ignorant. Like they feel like. Entitled. Art, yeah, if artists feel like they entitled. Like, if you say you going to be here at 5 o'clock, why the fuck is you texting me at 5.15 talking about you finna be 10 minutes late? What? Mm-hmm. What's going on? Like, yeah. then you yeah. mad when a person got to... You wasting you my time. You wasting my time, gang. If you hit from 5 to 7, you do realize you mm-hmm. only got an hour and 30 minutes. This not no two hours. So it just be like... I'm not a, I'm not trying to be an engineer. Right. I can engineer, but I'm not trying to be an engineer. So you um, don't like that aspect of it. Like, yeah, I ain't got time. If shit. you want, if you want to record, then I record the people that you know fuck with me or like really on, on some shit for real. Like, mm. Mm. and nine times out of ten, I'm not charging you because I know you. Uh, yeah. Like all my friends and shit, they ain't never gotta. My homies and shit ain't never gotta pay for studio time. So that song, you want to a bad? But y'all recorded that. In so the yeah, I rec- I had recorded it. And then I was sitting on it because I was like, damn, I ain't... Because I was going to just leave it as the one verse. And I'm like, it is kind of short. I want to probably add another verse. And I was thinking, like, me and Carla, um, this is like right around the time. We had just locked in. For real, for real. Got real close and shit. Shout out Carla G. And um, Shout out Carla I'm like, G. shit, hey, come come to the studio and listen to this song real quick. We've been trying to cook up, but we, ain't, we, we can cook something up later. Like, I want you to lay a verse. And she... Came in that bitch and killed it, so that kind of happened like that. Yeah, but that, yeah, that I, video wrote the I song recorded wrong. that bitch. It was cool. It was decent. It was. It was funny. It gives it. Chicago like yeah. they don't know about the juke mix and shit. Like the juke thing in Chicago, that shit is like a sound for us type shit, and that's what it gives. Like yeah, you want to dun, 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 the first one dun, dun, I did, the first kind of juke song I did, I was kind of singing on it. That was with Hollywood. Oh, I did. Hear so that, that, one. that was yeah, that was like a little singing joint. Yeah, I did hear that one. <clears throat> but that, that it ain't nothing like a Chicago juke, like the juke wave going crazy. Like it is, it is. I just seen um King Louis and mm-hmm. somebody else just dropped. Taylor I know Eli Bennett. produced it. Yeah, yeah. King, King Louis, Taylor Bennett, and I forgot the girl, but she wrote too. Yeah, that shit. I just that's, seen that. That's, that's another juke mix. Yeah, and um. Glow Gang Tay. I hope I'm saying. Yeah, that. Glow Gang Tay. She cold. She yeah, just did that, she that just song did that with one. the with. No, nah, that song old as hell. It ain't gonna. No, it ain't old as hell. But she re- just did the yeah, remix. Yeah, updated type shit with uh, Hollywood, the artist. Yeah, another dope ass. artist. And that, that's raw as hell too. <clears throat> she didn't been doing her thing, promoting that shit. You know, of course, you know we got the Fendi's and the Big Daddy Days mm-hmm. and all them. Yeah, yeah it's like it's still shit. going on. Shit. Yeah. Do you think Chance the Rapper brought that shit back with that? Like with the juke, the juke party song he had came out with. Type you shit. talking about that slow juke song with Justin Bieber? Yeah. Wait, no. He Justin Bieber was on that. He no, had a, it was like, sl- he got his turn. Mm-hmm. Why he slow juking? Oh, well, yeah. That's probably it. You think Justin- he brought that shit back, like, for us? Because I don't, I don't think I was really... I I, I, don't, I ain't going to say he brought that back for the city. I ain't going to lie. If, but I do love that song, and I was very proud for him to do that shit. Like, I'm like, damn, he did some shit that... I was in that my Walla camp shit. Like, yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like it just brought but, back memories and nostalgia for but me. Type shit. If I had to sit, put it on anybody, like who was like, I ain't gonna lie. To me personally, the first motherfucker I heard bringing that shit back for real, for real, was Pretty Lil. I can't deny that shit. Mm. Mm. I can't deny that shit for real, for real. Like, of course, everybody had their juke shit going on, but it was Pretty Lil for me. And then I, and then after that, I heard Fendi. Fendi had a song. It was before the um, Point Me to the Slut song. song. That bitch was busting. I forgot the name of it, but it was them two was the first. And then I heard Deja. Mm-hmm. So it yeah, was it really, it was, I can't even say the first people, like it was like simultaneously after I heard Pretty Leah shit. And yeah. that shit was just shaking the summer. Then I just started hearing everybody, um, who was that? Bama, the the comedian. Bama, his ass did that. Um, I got me some of Naha. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah, yeah, yeah. that? Then he went by to be in the truck and shit. Oh, yeah, no, like, like <laughs> it just went crazy. Like, that's some, like, they ass was going crazy. So, if I had to say anybody for really putting that shit on for real, would it be the collective then? The Chicago collective, shit. yeah. Chicago, the, them, Chicago. Made, them, t- them three girls, right? The Fendi, Big Daddy Days, and Pretty Leah, like, for sure, would be like the motherfuckers to really. Started and be like, yeah, I was rapping over juke beats type shit. Like, cause mm-hmm. anybody can make a juke beat. All of it. Like DJ Slug on them, uh, DJ Nate, they've been going crazy type shit. But right. 
That shit busting though. That shit that way. Is. Everybody doing that shit now. They definitely is. They definitely is. Shout out to Chicago, man. Shout out to y'all bringing, making the juke shit back high. I used to watch while while I can videos and shit. Oh, bro, used to be in love with that shit. Like, want to be pop up there. Any and just party dance y'all was at a kid as a kid was then it turned into a war zone. Oh, <laughs> Literally, any party as a shorty. Out west, and I can't even say out west because shit, when we had the little functions at the rink and Markham, motherfuckers get around that rink, get up on that wall, they ass with me. <laughs> uh, I was lame. I did not you do ain't... that. No, I did go. I could went, but I just wasn't into that. Like when I was young, bro, I was just a to myself ass person. So I went one time and I'm just like, it was like, oh, this ain't fun, man. Like, this, what the, this what we I'm doing. in there. Ooh, I damn that was. Gonna make me fall, juke. I damn that was a resident. At motherfucking uh, Mark, Mark, what Markham Overjuke? I went to the ring sometimes, but I was more at Markham than anything. Them bitches used to buzz. <laughs> My mama used to be like, "You better find you a ride back." I'm either doing, I'm picking you up or I'm dropping you off. Yeah, that shit was like ATL the movie type what? shit. What? That's how that's that real was. ATL. But motherfuckers shit. ain't really skating. Motherfuckers in that what, back. Nobody room, skating in the back room it type it, shit. When they had the parties, it wasn't no skating unless it was a skate juke party. But what nobody skating on them? You couldn't have yeah. no skates on the floor. It well, was just skating. a skating rink floor full of niggas. That's true. Literally. Or the old people and then all the young people in the back and shit. Cause you know that room in the back. Yeah. 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 Oh, the room. That room was that so room. fucking hot, dark. Ugh. Like, what the fuck, I was man? Just doing too much in that room in the back. They was really is. Like, now yo, that I look yo at homie it, holding you up. Boom, boom. Now boom. that I look back at it, like, we weren't supposed to be doing that shit. I slapped shit out of my, my daughter. <laughs> no, I slapped the shit. Like, if like my, what the fuck is wrong with you? I, That's my mom. They dry humping? That's what my mom was saying. Hey, they dry humping? Was doing way worse than us, though. Bro, you but, go out when motherfuckers leave the party, leave out not matching the old because you know this back then. So motherfuckers had pack weed and shit. Leave outs all over fucked up. Oh my soul, you like, leave the party, your shit up. Your good. shit is here. And you, you look a mess. Me. And, man, shit is crazy. Was a lot of crunchy shit going on too. <laughs> like a lot of shit that was barely over the <laughs> over the little lines shit. and shit. Oh, I'm gonna ask you this question because I got asked this question before. Boy. So they asked me, they said, who is your musical mom and like, who is your musical dad? Like, basically your inspiration. They said, like, if you had a mom and a dad, what is musical shit? I had to pick two mamas and two daddies. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I would say Aaliyah mm-hmm. and Drake. Aaliyah. Oh, my God, I said Drake. But I said Kanye, too. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, ma, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I like that. Aaliyah, Aaliyah and Drake. So why Aaliyah as your musical mom? Cause she is not an Aaliyah song. I don't know. And her voice is gorgeous as fuck to me. Like her, like every her whole thing, her, her whole personic. Yeah, yeah, like her whole That's persona is just like she just always been my favorite as a kid. Um, I get a lot of she would have been big as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get a lot of that. Like. Oh, uh, you! This sound like some shit like Aaliyah. You feel me? Like the, a, mm-hmm. a lot of comparison, um, with them, my music. So, but I just love Aaliyah and then Drake. I just feel like can't nobody beat that nigga. Like I could get into the grades of like rap and shit and all of that. Wait, other so you don't think Kill, Kendrick killed that nigga? Cause I'm gonna say Kendrick killed the fuck out of that nigga. Um, honestly, when I was on my way here, he just dropped another one. Another. So one. I listened to that one. That was, but that I feel like that last one that he did was better than really. Just like more. Pleasing to the ear type mm. shit. Like, them beats that he been picking been whack as fuck. It's been kind of like... Me, because I love music and I love bars, I've listened. I know what the fuck he yeah, was saying, he's saying, so I know yeah, he's saying some shit. But as far as, like, the melody you gotta... Shit, pl- yeah. yeah, I'm just looking like Drake the GOAT. Because at the end of the day, nigga, did the niggas gonna stream that shit. We all listen to Kendrick shit. We not finna be playing that shit in the car. We finna be playing Drake disses. <laughs> We finna be playing that shit. The club finna be playing that shit. The only one that Kendrick they they gonna play is the one with Future them on it. That shit hard. Oh yeah, nigga. Fuck that, up I just feel three. like it's just the music. I just feel like overall we just need to wrap this shit up. Like how long is we finna be doing this? Honestly, shit? Honestly, like, I'm tired of all the beef. Like I feel like this shit is just what the fuck is it for? This shit it's is random. we getting tired of it, America. Period. Because honestly, I'm starting. I've been new that this what y'all do. This this shit propaganda. And I'm tired like, of them going in on my bitch JT. Like, what the fuck is wrong? with Exactly y'all? that. But I be now I'm starting to think like this shit is rehearsed. Like they probably yeah, they all can, cool. Yeah, and they probably all cool behind closed doors. But they just I don't think the Drake. I don't think 
The Drake shit with Drake and Kendrick and Metro. I I don't know. Like Basically. that's fucked up. Like I don't I don't understand why everybody coming at Drake. Like that's some hating ass shit. Did why? he come at him first? Like you can't you can't throw a rock and hide your hands. Who Drake? So, yeah. I heard he made his this first. He episode. said something about the big three. No, he said something about the big three. And then Kendrick said, ain't no big three, it's just big me. Right. Kendrick made the shit first. Mm. Drake Bar wasn't really like a diss. He was just saying it's the big three. Like, I don't know. Well, I don't really know. I, I, I think to be Drake honest, though rocks out his hand type shit. He probably was talking about He probably about do, but the big three, everybody be saying Cole, Kendrick, and Drake right. type shit. So that's why he's saying, like, he said something about the big three. So he basically, like, fuck the big three, nigga. It's just big me. Man, like, I don't look, know. At the I end don't of the give day, a fuck. I don't give no fuck. Like, <laughs> I don't give like, a fuck about what I none of they no got fuck. going on. I just feel like, like they just got too much money to be doing this goof ass shit. But I guess it's, it's, entertaining. Go, it's entertaining. It's entertaining but for goddamn, the fans. This shit, shit is kind of getting boring. It, now. it like, really is. Rick Ross, he chiming in funny and shit. as fuck. His baby mama, I love T. I Kim. love T. Shout, Shout out to T. She be Tia. on that motherfucker. Ass. I love my T. I, I love that she said. Nabashi. Shorty said. Oh, bro. She said, I'm the shrimp, the hibachi, and the yum yum. Fuck you, Tom. Oh, you, damn, you know her. You know her, boss. Okay. Gee, oh, my remix. mama. Big back bitch. That's her song. <laughs> oh, my daddy. Shorty, you snap. Shout out to you, Tia. Oh, my mama. You did your Hell big one. no. I love her because, you know, D-Lo tried to come for her, and she she popped that song up for you, my boy. I ain't she even know bogus about as hell for for the, her. She bogus as hell for showing that little pic, though. I ain't going to lie. But he said what he said about her. He was trying to come out. Then link with her baby daddy, Rick Ross and shit. So she nigga, yeah, all right, I'm finna I heard he you. said he ain't want to share her shit because of that. Like, he ain't want to get blackballed by Ross. And I could see that because, like I said, you in the industry... Weird as hell. Like you gotta be bandwagon. I can't like, see shit. If a motherfucker pop, oh, okay. If a motherfucker uh popped your shit off, man, you throw a no. Some for sure, for sure. I would have definitely you throw her a little bread or something to put her in the video. She, or, she was trying to be in the video, but she, I he guess they weren't giving could, enough type shit. He said he couldn't. He didn't want to put her in the video because he ain't want to get blackballed by Ross. That's it's what I heard. Scary. But I could see why he would do that. I mean. Well, I mean, I don't care. People be saying that to me like a way FBG duck. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be posting. You shouldn't be saying, man, fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah. I'm going to go where I need to go, wherever God lead me to go. Like, my journey is already my And that don't got shit to go. do with me. I ain't gang banging. Thank you. I don't got but, shit to do but with me. People but, look at how you just said, like, nah, I ain't going to do that because yeah. I don't want to get back. My nah, man, fuck. I don't Yeah, being an artist is kind of crazy. But being a female artist is a little more, I'll say, more easier to be able to work with. Males, mm -hmm. as far as that type of shit, when they in different gangs and cliques mm -hmm. and shit like that, cause yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. as long as you ain't no op ass bitch, you decent. But yeah, so K Kilo, go ahead tell us what you got coming up for them. Shit, I got that project dropping June six for show for show. Um, like I said, that's my birthday, so I'm gonna go all out with that. I probably have like a, I'm trying to plan this uh like a Kilo and Friends event. I got this venue where I can, um, it's big as hell. Kilo and Friends. Mm hmm Just like Lovers and Friends. How they just, but I ain't going to finesse y'all like Lovers and Friends, though. Like, uh, but I'm trying what, to. What's, what's Lovers and Friends? Lovers and Friends. You ain't hear that? That's that concert uh, Usher uh, just had in Vegas, right? It and it was all them lineups on it. Right, but they, but they the canceled lineup? that shit like oh. a couple hours before that shit was supposed to start. It's supposed oh, to be so today. Oh, so you putting on a concert type shit. I ain't really going to say it's like a concert, but. I just wanted to do some shit where, like, I could showcase um, myself. Like, I'm going to have a listening session and shit, but, like, this is later on, like, in July. I'm trying to plan that with a couple of my homies. Wait, so you're going to have a li If you say your project dropping in June. I'm having a project dropping in June. I'm having a listening session in June 1st. Oh, the that. listening session. But I'm, I'm planning a Kilos and Friends, like, event to where, like, my homies that do music from different states and shit can come mm. out and shit and, and perform and. Oh, People dope. in Chicago and shit. It's gonna be like a little, but it's gonna be a party. No, I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be a bus. It's gonna be a stage and shit. Mm -hmm. Like set up. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. So a venue, it's a venue. Well, Other than that, I'm shooting a bunch of videos. Or well, I, I have them already shot. I'm just dropping stuff all summer. Like it's really, you know. What's this summer for you? This summer for me is just literally dropping, dropping, dropping. Um, just get my feet wet. I'm um, back wet. Um, you know, the winter time people just. I ain't gonna say slow up, but I did a lot of behind the work scenes as far as videos. Um, so this production your favorite quarter? 
Like yeah. the summer type shit? Yeah. For sure. Because it's just lit. Like, it's nothing like summertime shy, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, even though I'm trying to lead a shy, it's nothing like summertime shy. So that shit just going to be lit. But I'm, I don't plan on being in Chicago. Like, I'm going to be back and forth from here in Chicago a lot. Um, like me, that shit. Here in LA. I'm going to LA in the end of July. I'm going to Orlando. The first of July. Um, so I'm just moving around. So like, are you excited for this move to Atlanta though? I'm overexcited. It's way overdue. I was actually supposed to be out here once I graduated, but of course had to go home for COVID and shit. But it's mm-hmm. overdue. Like you said, I feel like I could just progress more here than in Chicago. Well, mm-hmm. me being just me, like I could progress in Chicago if I want to be fake as hell. I want to stay true to myself, so. She do got the clout shit. Motherfuckers be coming in my DMs like, ah, that I, bitch, that's a cold ass bitch uh, right there. No disrespect when I say bitch, I you know, I ain't saying it like that. Don't be doing, see, that's the what thing. What you mean? I be chilling. What you mean? I nah, be, nah, nah, nah. Gemini's, I be chilling. I be chilling, G. I be chilling. But I, I flirt with somebody, but then I get bored. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I be chilling. <laughs> that's because they be flirting with me, man. <laughs> they be flirting with me, man. <laughs> I be chilling. But I ain't gonna lie, motherfuckers went in my DM one time. Like, man, that's a cold little bitch right there. I ain't gonna lie, put me on. I'm oh, damn. Thank you, baby girl. Okay. I love it. Shout out to you, whoever yeah. you are. Shout out to you, baby. Shout out to you. I be, I be chilling, though. But for real, man. I be chilling, though. Um, we definitely got to shoot our shit, though. Save Me is so motherfucking wrong. Like, we was just creating, but then we had came up with the concept. It's like, let's say you have a one night stand with a motherfucker, and the motherfucker just wants you to oh, say it. Bro, she was, like, she was like, she was like, but I don't like girls. I'm like, gee, you don't. It's not about just listen to the song. Just say something, you, you know. Bro, like, but I couldn't say like she, she was over. She, she, she didn't know. She was like, I have to talk it. to my niggas. She was on this overthinking track. it though. She was if over- she talking to her hoes, I, I wasn't talk talking to my, to my hoes. <laughs> I was just saying, gee, like it was just a raw ass shit. Like she was like, what you mean, save me? I'm like, shit, I don't know, man. Shit, you go to a club and a bitch, bitches be in love type, or like anybody, you go to anybody. A club. You go to a they going through go their shit. And they going through your sh- they, they shit. shit. You yeah. going through your shit. Yeah. And you link up like on mm, some, some save shit. me, for the save night me shit. for the night. I'm going through my shit, man. Just save me from it. The next day, I'm still gonna feel it. But shit, just oh, save me bro, for right I'm now. Some that's some real shit, shit though. That like, is that's real. Like I didn't hear that. My music in my come life. from like experiences or some shit that I say for real. Like I, I. Oh, say? that's what I was gonna ask you too before. Do you think like? relationships like being experienced in relationships and shit that helps your music type shit like oh yeah I ain't gonna lie I make my best music I'll be I ain't be I don't be happy when a motherfucker piss me off bitch make me mad or something but man what do you don't know how many times motherfucker that made me mad and I didn't Left the crib and went to the studio and made yeah. a bitch fuck you <laughs> and it been a, what or some shit like that like or made like you know I done made some shit songs where like we didn't got into it, and I'm like, fuck, like I'm tired of getting into it you with you. Into like, it. let's like, love you, let's then I just can't. Shit. You know, that's that's yeah. another toxic trait too. I ain't what, gonna lie, what, singing what? and shit. Or you like said singing, singing and shit to be, yeah. What like that's I said, a toxic trait. That's a toxic that's a talent. That's a, that's a talent, but it's a toxic. Tra- I use it as a toxic trait sometimes. Like what we done argued. I done went in the nigga. studio and made a song about you, bitch. Oh, I love the you. Bitch back. Now I'm coming home and I'm just playing, playing a song, song and I'm just in my shit. <laughs> I'm getting so good. You know, right. You is. You know. I swear. You know how to do it. I ain't even gonna lie. Cause you shit. A nigga Boy, made a baby, song I'm about me. Sorry. I'm so. And, and it's not just the typical. Man, I'm so sorry. I know I fucked up. I'm just. You I'm gonna say me? everything you want me to hear in song. I ain't gonna lie. A nigga, a nigga say. Maybe you want to be interlude. in the video. Uh, the interview. Well, I'm talking so much shit. Boy, I'm playing that shit back. Oh, he said this. Ooh. You don't know. I've baby, come back. What? Oh, okay, baby. Now then, put out my shit. Hey. I'm still gonna make a song about you. <laughs> no. Make a song about me. Uh, what dirty? Oh. I was just listening to that on the way there too. Oh, uh, oh, 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 bro. They ass is so Chicago. I love that shit though when I be seeing it. I'm like, this is some Chicago yeah. shit. They so Chicago. So Chicago. They just fake broke up not too long ago. Because people and be like, like why right y'all on. on the internet doing it? Boy, that's what Chicago people do. Like, if motherfucker love they bitch, they just, that's what motherfuckers Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes. I stopped doing all. I had to. The active active yeah. to, to Twitter Cause I'm I'm not finna do all Like I used to do that a lot Like if I go look at some tweets I just be like Damn Why am I having a whole ass argument 
on the internet. On the internet. Like, that's you. embarrassing as hell. It is embarrassing. Like, you saying we, like, it's just too Wait, much. Wait, you, you an Adam motherfucker or are you just throwing subs type shit? Like, you are literally at that person? Like, or is my, it like, subs? Like, like, my, yeah, we was at Y'all was at Oh, I, no, or you putting sub. people in the bed. I be subbing. I'm doing all that. Either way, it's still, come on now, motherfucker know who you going with. Uh, they already know. Yeah, it's like what's but the, the ad is some extra razzle. But that's what I'm saying. Shit. When you dealing with a female, that now I'm tw- I just deal with a lot of crazy women. I ain't gonna. You lie. make them crazy. Be for real. Let me say something. Um, I don't think that I make. I them just see your close friends. The other day. I don't think that I make yeah. them crazy. When I had got up out of the damn mm-hmm. three in the morning, I had to get up out of the. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> had to get up out of there. This <laughs> bitch, right? G, I ain't even say shit to this. I just was just like, Kilo. I'm in my head like, this bitch. Like, this is a fucking Gemini, bro. Like, I say, she hey, said, yo. she boomerang. <laughs> she boomerang. Talking about some, yep, this bitch, don't, she going to sleep. Uh, I'm out this motherfucker. No, I didn't. <laughs> all I said was, all I said was, when you got to leave a motherfucking crib. You telling them what you put in your clothes? You say you don't give a fuck. Yeah, I just said I had to leave. I mean, I'd be putting I that wasn't I could have put that on the close on the main story. Damn, okay, big But kid. you ain't wanna hurt nobody feeling. No, it wasn't that at all. Mm-hmm. Um, it's what feelings. That was just funny. It's a little jokey joke. Like, yeah. You know I play all day. <laughs> shit, I I just be putting myself in everybody's shoes in that moment. I'm damn bitches ain't shit. No. Like, it, <laughs> damn, that is whatever. I guess that I guess yeah, I mean when we <laughs> Well, I don't be looking at that shit that way. I had to go home, shit. I have to get up out of there. What the fuck? Then this bitch up in the fucking Uber like, mm. shit, what we on? Like, <laughs> Yo, was, you couldn't cuddle the bitch? You can't, you know, cuddle time? This bitch said, mm. You be cuddling? What? Gee, I don't, I be chilling, especially out here. But I'm saying the- But if I'm doing some- I just be doing too much, I guess. If I'm doing some interaction with the person type shit, then- I, I don't just be out here type shit. I, don't, I ain't like no, no nigga. No, I'm not. So it's have, like, if I'm, I'm just with saying, you, like, you, you bitch, you better cuddle me. You better be with me the whole night. You bitch just can't get up out of here no three in the morning. We're not together. I don't be together. Oh, okay, well, that's cute. I, 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 I could just better know. Don't treat don't, me like no other, like, no. Nah, but I'm saying, I can't no, 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 no. I had to go home, though. What the fuck you had to go home for? Because I like my bed. That means you didn't like that bitch. Because... That mean you didn't like the bitch because no, G, like, if you no, like the okay, bitch, no, fuck no, your bed. No, no, like, no, 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 all bullshit aside. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, to him. I, re- I fuck with shorty for real, for real. Here's the thing though. I'm one of the people that like, um, like I'm not gonna lead you. Like I'm not gonna do too much. Like if we not there, like I'm a person that's very upfront type shit. Like G, if you want to just fuck me, that's what we're gonna do. I'm not finna. You know, like, cause mm-hmm. especially a motherfucker telling you, like, I'm gonna fuck you. Like, come fuck me. Like, I'm drunk. Where you at? Let's fuck. Like, if it's one of those, then. That's okay. what I'm saying. Cool, 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 cool. cool. I'm, this ain't I'm okay. not, but that's anybody, though. I'm not playing house with nobody. For real, for real. Like, if we're dating and I'm chilling at your crib or some shit, like, you know, then yeah, I'm gonna be there. I uh, spend a night or whatever the case is, but I'm not finna just over kick it. Like I don't, I gotta know what's going on. Like if you trying to be in relationship shit, we gonna be in relationship shit. But I'm not just finna keep playing, especially if you're not on that type of time. Like or if we ain't even on that type of time. We just cool, cool. And you, like I said, if you telling me you wanna fuck me, and we, are, I'm here for that, that purpose. Mm-hmm. Whole time I ain't even do that. We was just chilling. Mm-hmm. So now I'm really mad. I'm really finna go home now this plane. Yeah, because why the fuck you didn't do it if you asked to come for that type of shit? You probably would have went to sleep. And come I probably would have just that. been. That's what I'm saying. I was too up. Um, okay. I got to go I home. What am I here for? What are we doing? Why am I just here? Just to talk? Not your I want to talk. I could have called you. you yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't even like being on the phone like that. Really? Not to nobody that I'm not That like. you not locked in with. Bro, like, yeah. I'm one of them people like, okay. People would look at me or like they'd be like, gee, you look like you got hoes or some shit. Like, or you just, oh, you a dog. I'm not. Like, I can't help who fuck with you. You see what I'm saying? I feel like that's anybody that's attractive. Like, anybody attractive get that. I'm not just saying that's just me. Like, anybody attractive to get that. Yeah. 
I'm That's grown true. now, gang. I'm gonna be 28 years old. G, like I could fuck hoes and bitches and just be a hoe or just have hoes and just have a different bitch every night and do what I want to do. Or I could be mature about things and really be like, okay, what are you on? You not on that type of shit. You just want, okay, cool. Or I could just stay to myself and be with somebody be that's really on some serious on some shit, shit type shit. So I don't really be on shit. So I what do you chilling. see in the long run? Shit. Do you want like full time relationship? Boom, like yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I definitely want full time relationship, but because I, um, my last relationship was just a little goofy as hell. So it's you like still healing from now, it? I, no, it ain't even healing from it. I'm over the healing part. I feel like I'm at my best. You know, like I was fucked up, like mm. on some shit. Like I ain't never been that type of person. Like or to be in a real relationship to where like. I really know that I wasn't fucking around for real. Or like I took it a hundred percent serious. Like we was living together type shit, type mm-hmm. shit. So it's like now I'm like, gee, if that person that I just thought like would never do me no shit like that, like no way like that, it's like I'm so like on point with everybody now. That's why I say, like, you got one time to show me that your ass weird. Yeah. Or like yeah. on some weird shit. But I'm cool in now, like, you know. I ain't chilling. You win your bag. Yeah. You win your kilo bag, you focus on self and all that shit. Yeah, you know, I still get some though. <laughs> get get in, but that that don't mean that you still ain't fucking. Like you just said, you just like yeah, shit, I'm fuck, focused. Fuck whole shit, fuck them. Yeah, like you said, you gotta focus though. Like you gotta really show me that you ain't just trying to just be on some wild shit. Like if you mature, oh, you want some serious shit. I ain't saying I'm looking for it, but yeah, G, like you you know when a motherfucker serious about you. You know when a motherfucker ain't playing. You know when a motherfucker like just not mm-hmm. like. Just trying to put you on their list as some hoes or like just uh, interested. How do you know? You can tell by so like. So if their somebody demeaning. fuck on the first night, do that? Like what? What you mean? Like demeaning such if they fuck you for the first night, do that make you think like, oh, this bitch wild? Like she ain't even on that. Like da da da. Um, it's kind of it depends on the person. It mm-hmm. really depends on the person and how they act. Like I'm not saying if you fuck on the first night, you a hoe. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that. Like or like you won't take that person serious. Right. I'm not saying you know like it is kind of kind of wild. If you just go to somebody club and meet a nigga and fuck, mm-hmm. it's a little wow, but it depends on what happens after that fuck. You see what I'm saying? Like, Do you think the fuck just make you lose interest? Like, all right, fuck it. We already knew fuck. Me personally, I didn't had that situation. Um, like like when I was younger type shit. Mm-hmm. Like, especially like in college, like, um you 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 didn't you had different situations. Like some one time I did, had a situation with a motherfucker I was feeling and then that one night it just went crazy and the bitch started acting crazy and I stopped talking to her. Or <laughs> some shit start or or I realized I ain't gonna lie, or if that shit ain't all the way there, like or what if the fuck is boring? Like, you know, mm. And then you lose interest. Right. It just depend on the situation, gang. Right. Like it just depend on the situation. I didn't, like I said, I went with a motherfucker and was with that motherfucker. Went to their crib and never left. Mm. It, yeah, that's true. So Literally. it, it depends so on the it person, just depend the vibe, on the, person, the situation, the, the vibe, the situation, yeah. like the energy. You can tell. Shit. You know when a motherfucker serious about you, don't you? You can tell when a motherfucker serious, like serious to where, like, because I'm not finna give just anybody my time of day. That's what that's what niggas say to me. I still don't give a fuck. They be what? like, I be with you every day. I be with you every day. Da, 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 da. Like, and they be like, I don't do that with no other bitch. I don't do shit like that. What the fuck? I ain't seen nobody. But I still don't feel like that ain't, what the fuck that mean? I don't know if you serious to me, serious for me or not. I don't know. I overthink, like I said. I question a lot of yeah. shit. And then, but that like, just mean that person ain't really trauma. showing you too. Because if a motherfucker really showing you, G, like, really showing you, like, you can you you know the difference between a fuck nigga and a nigga you want to really be like mm, I like this nigga mm. cuz you don't like fuck niggas right you could no. you you will get the fuck out of my face but a real nigga can catch your eye and catch your attention then you communicate then you link up with him like them is steps them right, is right, steps right, right. off of just meeting bro like you kind of know when a motherfucker kind of got your attention or attention. when they fuck yeah. him. And then you looked up. Now y'all done been communicating for a month. Right. Now it's two months. That's what I kind of mean, like, as far as progress. Like, right. motherfucker bomb, go outside. Building a bomb. Right. Motherfucker. motherfucker go outside any day and get a billion numbers. Right. Who yeah. I'm going to text all night. Who I'm going to be on the phone with type mm. shit. Like, it's all, it got to be that one person to stand out. That's what I'm really mean. Like, mm. if you that person, I'm going to give it to you. You feel me? Like, we going we gonna to lock in. Right. Like, we gonna lock in. We ain't gotta be in a relationship, but like, if I fuck with you, G, like, I'm literally fucking with you, like. Right. 
Yeah. Motherfuckers don't know what they want nowadays. They be like, yeah, I'm fucking with you. You don't person I'm talking to the whole time. The whole time you got a whole lineup. Exactly. So that's why I question shit. And that's why I question. We everybody got trust issues out here. That's the number one thing. I got trust issues, trauma, all type of shit. shit But I'm not saying that I'm not. You know, like I'm when you heal and when you go through like a bad breakup or a bad situation, do you learn from it? You supposed to learn from every. Lesson every I ain't gonna say that was a mistake, but you supposed to learn from every situation type shit. So I just learned like a lot of people ain't what you need, like you know. So boom, how we finna wrap this up? Would you say that you're a certified lover girl, or you just be on your PIMP shit? Like I'm a certified lover girl. Anybody that know me know that I love too much. Like me my too. friends, like I love my friends hard. G. Like my friends, my family, anybody know that, but. But fuck, you still, I still say but you could still you. be a pimp at the end of the day, like bitch. Oh fuck my mom, I I could, but it get irritating, G, especially with females. <laughs> like what? Like come on now, like <laughs> as a girl, G, you can't really, you can't be a pimp, but it's just like, G, girls want to, and they are like FBI agents, like my nigga, like you don't answer the phone one time, and so it yeah. just be like, I don't, yeah, I, I don't want domestics. I don't got time for all that shit. Have G. you ever got one? Motherfucker put a restraining order against me, but it's Damn, not because... so you was being crazy. No, she... I don't know why that happened. Oh, shit. I don't know why. I'm not domestic, though. I don't like that. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, motherfucker put their hands on me. I'm gonna knock your I'm shit your back. ass, yeah. Like, for real. I but, got a domestic case. Um, that's a nigga... Yeah, I went you? to jail for three days. No, oh, he, he didn't. He, he sent didn't. You to jail? He did not. He oh, she chased out the police car and said, I'm not pressing charges. What the fuck is y'all doing? Me and him showed up to court together and everything. They ass just still just took me. Cause you probably was out there acting fucking crazy. No, I was cussing the police out. How I just get done beating this nigga ass? And then you come Why up here trying to question him? me. Why huh? were you fighting him? Why was he fighting me? That's the question. <laughs> I locked myself in the other room. You come busting up in that bitch. This my shit. Oh, okay, bitch, I'm finna show you. <laughs> oh <my laughs> God, I don't like all that. that that's toxic, G. That was, like, that was my first some, relationship. I just though. want some peace. Like, peace. <laughs> that was some growing pains. And shit. Like, that's what you I'm gotta saying. experience that shit to, to learn, like, oh, I can't do that shit. I don't want I just that want shit peace, no man. Exactly. I just want peace and prosperity. I'm a yeah. lover's girl. You feel me? Certified love girl. But yeah, me too. I will slap the shit out you if you play with me. Exactly. And put your hands on me first. If you put your hands on me first, G. I don't, I'm not, I never. Never put my hands on nobody first, G. Like that's yeah. for real. Cause I don't even. I don't. I'm a. I'm nonchalant, G. Like you gonna be arguing with yourself and get mad because I'm not responding before I get irate for real. I'm gonna walk mm. off. I'm gonna leave out. I'm gonna storm out type of person. Mm, yeah, I know I'm not finna sit here and yell at you and why you calling me a bitch. Nothing yeah. else. Like all type of shit. Yeah. Like nah. I'm gonna laugh and get the fuck and get on. the fuck on. That's the best way to do it anyway. Like, fuck that shit. Some people say, nah, you supposed to sit there and talk. Who? Cool. But uh, me, my thing is with my niggas, like, who the fuck house is you going over talking about some... I'm on my ex, nigga, sorry. Your That's cousins. I'm, I'm in my cousin I'm house. Bitch, you is not your cousin. cousin That's not true. Exactly. Bitch, that's not your fucking cousin. Bitch, your ass a, lying. I got a lot of cousins from a, I really do, G. Like, a uh, motherfucker. You sound like that nigga, bro. <laughs> you, you give triggering me. You triggering me. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, no, we gotta wrap this bitch up. All right, we can but it damn, up, my bad, y'all. This the Low Real World Pack podcast. You know what I'm saying? This is K Kilo. Yo. Go ahead, give me your little outro. Hey, man, She's this... gonna be back again. Yeah, you know I'm I'm back in here, man. Catch me in about a, in a couple months. I'm gonna be down here all the time. But it's K Kilo straight from Chicago. You already know what the fuck is going on. Had to come down here with my girl and get it in, man, on the pocket. I'm right in the cut with my twin. We be vibing. You hear me? <laughs> Low Real Way Podcast, we out.